have my volume turned off. Oh, no, I've turned up. Is your microphone on? I have no idea. Hey, Tony Moss, can you hear me? Give me a, a yay or a nay. Can you guys hear me? That's a thumbs up. So I want to make sure everybody can hear me. Valerie, can you guys hear me? Hello to everyone. Um, I'm getting a thumbs up, so I'm assuming you guys can all hear me. Okay, lots of thumbs up. <laughs> so our internet router went down last night, so I am on my wife's computer, and I am sitting in the kitchen. I am watching my wife prepare my dinner. Honey, what, what are we having tonight? Taco We're having a taco salad. All right, so what do we got here? We got 46 people. So um, I'm going to make small talk for a minute. Uh, anyway, our router went out, and all of our computers in the house went down. My office computer connections went down. Uh, Netflix went down, which was the most horrible thing of it all. But uh, we got a new router today, so uh, my wife has got us up and running, and we are all good. Um, so we have 58 people on the call so far. So I will get st – oh, we're going up. we got 65. Boy, you guys come on fast. Okay, topic number one, Evolution Convention, the weekend of June 20 to 23, 2019. We have about 250 people signed up. The price is $249, and it will go up as we get closer. So make sure – that you are getting in now um, and start booking your rooms uh, at the South Point. Um, so I, I am here to give you the reminder for you that are going to the convention, start making your bookings now. Uh, we've got uh, a room block, and once the room block sells out, it will go up. Uh, but for now, the, uh, the convention is 249 and uh, at some point, I think – before now and the convention, it will go up to 299. So uh, I want to urge everybody that's going to uh, to get online and go ahead and make your deposit or make your uh, payment rather for the convention. Uh, just had the um, oh by the way, my daughter tells me I say um too much, so I'll try not to say um so much tonight. The uh, um. The uh, the evolution retreat was in Orlando this last weekend. It was a, a delightful time. We had breakfast at the Margaritaville in City Walk at the Universal Orlando, which was um, amazing with the number of people coming and going uh, throughout the uh, theme park. The Orlando uh, Universal Studios is an amazing uh, amazing venue, and it was a fabulous program. So we will be coming out soon with the fall retreat. The fall retreat will be November the 1st. I will tell you now it will be a weekend cruise, and we have a block of space coming from Los Angeles. So this will be our first West Coast retreat. We have not had a West Coast retreat to this point. But we will be having a West Coast retreat in November of this year. Uh, good evening, uh, Manietta. Uh, for all of you that are new to Evolution, I got to tell you, welcome on board. You guys are getting in at a spectacular Evolution Travel is growing tremendously. The uh, recruiting numbers are going up uh, at an amazing pace, still sustainable. And the Training videos are coming along. We are set to launch the personalized uh, marketing videos uh, in the next couple of weeks. We are a bit handicapped right now because we do not have a uh, computer programmer right now. We lost our computer programmer ha and have not been able to find someone sufficient that understands our business model. Uh, so we are a little bit handicapped and behind the eight ball on that. But it will be 
uh, rectified soon, and we will be coming out with the uh, a lot of new marketing videos and initiatives. I will tell you that uh, the Evolution Convention is scheduled. We have a – it's really hard not to say um when you're talking extemporaneously. But the Evolution Convention is also going to have a trade show, and we have about a dozen suppliers that are signing up. We're negotiating. Some of the suppliers don't want to pay us what we need to run the trade show, but we will have a lot of interesting suppliers. All the Mark Travel, Apple Fun Jet um, suppliers, Carnival is going to be there. Expedia is going to be there. We are talking to Sandals. We're talking to Pleasant Holidays. We're talking to rental car companies. We're talking to hotels. It's really going to be spectacular, and we will have several hours dedicated to the trade show where you'll be able to meet and greet the uh, trade show. Uh, I'm sorry, the supplier uh, BDMs, the uh, business development uh, personnel. So let's see. Um, um, I got to break myself of that habit. So that's what I've got for right now. We are looking at hiring additional customer service staff and administrative staff because of the growth of, of evolution. So uh, if you're getting, uh, if you're getting, if you're not getting phone calls back in a timely manner, please send me an email. And let me know. But uh, we are trying to keep up with the pace of growth, and we've got some new admins that have come on board, and uh, we're really excited about it. So. Uh, further update, by the way, on Puerto Rico, I am interviewing staff right now. I have a couple of finalists, and they should be hired and on board uh, within the next 10 days. And then I am, as I said, I'm going down to Australia on the 18th. Uh, currently, we have almost 200 agents in Australia. They are rocking it, and we will be opening up an operation in Sydney. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. So let's get to Q&A tonight. Um, who's got questions and who has comments? Anybody have any questions for me? Because now it's your time. This is the time where I answer any questions, comments, or concerns that you have about the business. Uh, we do have some carryovers. Last week there were questions about the website. Uh, we have, I believe we've got the website back up and being functional. We're not aware of a lot of other issues that are coming along with that. Let's see. Anybody got any questions? Nobody's got any questions tonight? Let's see. I'm not finding any questions, folks. Oh, uh, Tony, one of me, he mentioned that there'll be a, a, a travel vendor Q&A session. We will have travel vendors that will be up on a panel that will be answering a lot of your questions. Credit card authorization form. Because we don't have a programmer right now, the credit card authorization form is still in its current model where we're just requiring it for Apple Leisure Group suppliers. The dual authentication is still uh, being developed. And uh, when we get a programmer on staff, that will probably take us another two weeks after we get a programmer to finish up the programming on the dual authentication. Um, there's been a lot of discussion back and forth regarding other electronic uh, credit card authorization forms that people are using that are encrypted. Remember, the only ones that are required to be sent to the office are those travel authorization forms for anyone, any supplier from Apple Leisure Group, Apple Vacations, FunJet, uh, Southwest Vacations, Delta Vacations. Mostly it's, it's, uh, it's the FunJet that we've had the fraud with, so that's the one we're mostly concerned about. But any of the Apple Leisure groups, make sure you're getting your electronic application in. With regard to the other credit card authorization forms, remember, as your own home-based travel agent with your own business, 
you're required to cover the losses if you have a credit card fraud or if you have somebody that does a chargeback, you're liable for the expenses on that. So getting the credit card authorization form is critical to you. And we mention this every week. And I want to make sure that you guys are really uh, following through and protecting yourself. But again, you should be getting the credit card authorization forms. There's a number of methods that are out there. Uh, but the dual authentication will not be in play probably for another 30 days. Um, I am sorry about that, but it's a pretty sophisticated piece of uh, programming. Uh, Loretta Stricker, I'm new. I'm having tough issues with Travel Cafe. Uh, Travel Cafe, uh, call the office tomorrow, 818. By the way, office number is always good, 800-272. 4377, that's 1 800 Archers. Um, so if you call the office, they can help you with your issues with the Travel Cafe. 800 272 4377. Jessica's in charge of the Travel Cafe. Jose is there. David is there. Um, anybody in the office could pretty much help you with that. Tiba Wright, I've been trying to book a group for Dubai in 2020 for a while. Every time I call, and then it's cut off. If you're having issues with that, uh, call and ask for Jill Langley. I want to tell you, by the way, there was um, a contract that came into the office today from one of the airlines where an agent was working with a university and did a block of seats on United Airlines under the Archer IATA number. We had to cancel that contract. None of the, you, you as an agent cannot obligate Archer Travel for financial liability. In other words, when you call an airline and you book a group with that airline under Archer Travel's IATA number and there's a problem, they will look to Archer Travel for payment. And, they, and we have a lot of letters of credit with the carriers so that they will just simply come and take the money right out of our bank account. So all contracts, if you want to book a group contract with an airline, you can certainly do that, but you have to block it as, as an individual agent, um, and there are no commissions with airline tickets, so you do not have to, to put it through the office. But if you put it through the office, we have to be the signatory on that contract. Uh, I hope that's uh, clear. In other words, if you're looking for a group from an airline, you can go direct and you can negotiate um, You can negotiate the contract rate yourself. And you can sign the contract yourself, but I would make sure and have your group organizer sign the contract. Because there's no commission, then there's no reason for you to obligate yourself because if for every seat that's not utilized, they will charge anywhere from $50 to $200 as a cancellation penalty if you don't cancel within a certain amount of time. Uh, there will not be payment arrangements for the Las Vegas convention. Uh, that was a one-time shot with the Orlando group to try to sell the rooms, but we were unable to sell the rooms. And frankly, it was it is a very difficult thing, so we are not... Uh, going to be doing a payment program for the $249 for uh, the convention. Trina Brown Shaw, I have a client who wants to take an African riverboat safari cruise and stay at a Giraffe Manor Hotel. Any suggestions? Yes. <coughs> I want you to call a man by the name of Dave Herbert. Dave Herbert is the owner of a company called Great Safaris. Dave used to be the owner of African Travel, which was the largest wholesale tour operator in South Africa. He is also a um, he's also an owner of game lodges. He is South African, but he has uh, game lodges throughout the entire Southern African continent. I, he is very knowledgeable. He's been in business for he's he's been in the travel business for 50 years. He's a good friend of mine, uh, and absolutely call Great Safaris. And if you don't have the number or can't find the number in Glendale, California, call the office tomorrow and we'll put you in touch. I do not know the price for the rooms at South Point. You'll need to call the office and, uh, and, and take care of that. Uh, uh, GJ Nicholson, could we do a test run with top workers before it rolls out to the masses? 
Good idea. Uh, yes, we will do some test runs with the credit card authorization form, and we'll either do it with top bookers or we'll do it with like the founders counselor or something like that. But yeah, we'll do a check before we roll it out. Because if that thing gets bungled from the start, then that's big trouble for us. Uh, speaking of commissions, how do I find about my my about my six digits? Because it seems I may be getting my commissions due to having the wrong six digits. Uh, Tiva, call the office tomorrow and check. Uh, they will look into the database and tell you what the agent number is. Uh, and if you're getting wrong commissions, then uh, that is Angela or Donna. 800-272-4377, uh, Angela or Donna. Uh, finding that Expedia tap and regular Expedia prices are the same for the hotel and the flights. Is there a reason why? Yes, because it's the same booking engine. The only difference is you get commissions on the hotels through Expedia tap, whereas you do not get commissions through normal Expedia. So Jennifer, make sure you're booking through Expedia tap and those are the same rates. The airlines are the ones that set the rates and hotels are the ones that Expedia doesn't actually set the rates. Uh, oh, Jennifer saved the, Jennifer Langley saved my day. The hotel rooms are starting at $65 with the weekend hire. Uh, there are reduced resort fees as well. So uh, go into the Travel Cafe and the hotel rates for the South Point are there. Thank you, uh, Jennifer Benefer Langley. Jill. I know it's Jill. I called it Jennifer two weeks ago. I know you did. Uh, book 38 folks for a trip to Paris through FunJet Vacation. Several of them are having issues with flight delays and changing. They're not arriving the original day of check-in. My issue is I stayed on hold with FunJet Vacations for two and a half hours, trying to talk to a rep to notify the hotel. Okay, here's what you do in that case. Email rarcher at archertravel.com. I will forward your email with my comments directly to um, the FunJet Vacation BDM, and he will go through customer service, and you will not have to wait on hold. They will call you. Um, so send that to me. I will forward it to Marco. Uh, but if you're having an issue where you're booking and they're not arriving the day that uh, they told you they were arriving, then that's that's a problem. And yes, FunJet is having a problem uh, with their call hold times. Uh, most of the tour operators at this time of the year are ridiculously bad uh, as far as their, their hold times. And I am really sorry for that, but it's just the way that the suppliers are. This is the busiest time of year when people are booking. So on individual bookings, if you can go through VAX or go through the supplier websites, you're going to be a lot better off. However, when you've got groups such as this one, then what you're going to want to do is, is enlist the, the, uh, the help of the office. And on 38 people, said that to me, and I will jump in on it, and Marcos will address it uh, immediately. You know, now that I'm thinking about saying, uh, I say, uh, a lot more. Uh, da -da -da. Kudos to Peggy. Peggy is on vacation this week. Uh, she is out until next Monday, a week from today. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Patience is never the key for me, Jill Langley. I'm an impatient man. Uh, the agent that wants to talk to Peggy about a group cruise, but Peggy will not be available April 1st, who she call or email. Uh, what's Marie's extension? 268? Okay. Uh, Jill, uh, or I'm sorry, Marie Liuzzi has been a cruise agent with Archer Travel for uh, about 30 years, and you can reach uh, her directly at area code 818-236-4268, or you can reach her at 800-272-4377, extension 268, Marie Liuzzi. Uh, and she will give you uh, knowledge and understanding. Uh, she can give you recommendations, who to book, how to book, where to book. She's very knowledgeable. How many people is considered a group for air? Ten. Uh, ten people are considered a group for air. And if you fall below that ten, uh, then you may be subject to a different pricing structure. But let me tell you the fallacy about groups. Normally, when you buy a, a, a group, 
uh, of anything. When you buy a large uh, number of any particular item, the price goes down. With the, with the airlines, however, it's the opposite. Uh, when you book groups, they have a tendency to go up in price because what airlines do is they use a program called yield management. And basically, that's a really fancy term for supply and demand. So what they do is they take approximately, let's say there's 100 seats on the airplane. They got 15 seats in first class. They got 15 seats in economy premium plus. And then they take the rest of the 70 seats and they divide that into maybe six or seven buckets with different prices and different restrictions. And now there's a what they call, United's got what's called a basic airline ticket where you cannot do an advanced seat assignment, you know, you, you can't do a change. It's a use it or lose it type of situation. So what an airline does, if you were to book a group of say 50 people, then we'll, they'll take five seats from each bucket and they will add them all together and they will divide the price and online you might see a price for $299 and they're coming back with 430 bucks. Well, that's because what they've done is they've taken all the published rates because they know they're going to sell out the seats and, you know, there's, there's fewer aircraft, you know, in use today. And so they're going to average that seat cost over all 50 seats and they're going to charge people more money. So it's really tricky in terms of doing groups um, small groups of 10, 15 could have a small, could have a lower price than let's say a group of 50. So you really got to, you, you really got to shop around. And also uh, if you can get people to book, if you can get people to book individually, uh, you might end up with a better pricing structure. But if you're going to package a program up with a hotel then you know you want to hide the airfare because you don't want to divulge that the airfare might be twenty, thirty, fifty dollars more expensive than what they're showing online. Uh, and if you guys want, I can certainly do some. I could certainly one of these sessions. I could do a. Uh, I could speak about groups to. Uh, I could talk about group pricing to more uh, in, in more depth. How does commission work with Expedia Tap? Is it going to be on the Akimbo card? Mine is linked to my Evo profile. There's anything else I need to do? No, but you got to remember when you book when you book any trip, you've got to put in a commission tracking form. So you put your commission tracking form in, and basically you're talking about you know the departure date, the passenger name, and the supplier, and the amount of money that they were charged. When the commission comes in, we put that on your Akimbo card for all commissions that are received between the first and the fifteenth of the month. They are paid to you by the 30th of the month. For the commissions that are paid from the 16th to the end of the month, they are paid to you by the 15th of the following month. We are never more than two weeks behind unless, like we had this year, they changed from a C to go card to the Akimbo card, and that was a disaster, but that was something that we had no control over. So we are very timely on the commissions that we're paying out. So um, make sure you get your commission tracking forms in. And then uh, that will identify it so we can get you paid on a timely basis. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, Rose Redding, why is the theme park ticket no longer in the golden tickets? That would have been some decision that golden tickets would have decided on, and I can't answer that. Um, but there may be some other avenues. I know that uh, some other people, in fact, if anybody else online here uh, knows any other uh, venues we can buy theme park tickets on, please uh, share. I know. No, the Jennifer was a joke, Benifer. Let's see. Where's the cheapest place to buy flights from Detroit, Detroit to Victoria Island? everybody has the same airline ticket price uh, for domestic tickets. Now, when you're going North America is considered domestic. Uh, Mexico, the United States, Canada, and the Caribbean, uh, Alaska, and Hawaii are all considered North America. And there are no commissions and there are no consolidator contracts anymore in the North American markets. So anywhere that you look is going to be common rated. If you find it on Expedia, it's typically going to be the same price as Priceline or Apollo. 
However, there are so many different variables in terms of inventory that sometimes ticket prices can be different minute by minute by minute. And airline ticket prices are never, ever, you need to, to tell your clients the ticket prices are never, ever guaranteed until the ticket is issued. I had a family of four going to Europe. The ticket price was $1,350. I quoted them on one day. The next morning, it went up to $420. So that family had to pay an extra $280, and there's nothing I can do. Now, there are times when ticket prices actually go down uh, because yield management shows that they're not selling that flight as fast as they should be selling it. So they will lower the ticket price to fill up the remaining seats. However, airlines have started taking aircraft out of the skies and they're flying smaller, more efficient, more fuel efficient aircraft. In addition to that, you have to also remember that the 737 has been temporarily taken out of the market. So the airlines are flying their planes at a much fuller capacity, capacity which means that they are charging more money. So airline ticket prices this year, I'm estimating, are going to be up somewhere between 7 and 10% over last year. And that's based on anomalies in the, in the system. So, um, you know, you just got to research and research. It's, you got to change airlines. You have to look at various, you know, from Detroit to, to I think it was Victoria, Vancouver Island. Uh, you got to look at different um, connection points. You have to look at different carriers. You might look at Air Canada through, um, oh, gosh, I don't know, through Al, uh, uh, Vic, uh, Vancouver. Or you might look at uh, from Detroit to Denver on United uh, to uh, Victoria Island or Vancouver Island. So it, it just, again, I, and I may have the wrong towns or the cities, I mean, the wrong airports, but the concept is the same. Vary your connection points, vary your carriers, vary your sites. Um, Kayak is a really good uh, aggregator of airline ticket prices. Uh, I would absolutely look at the uh, Kayak is, is, is an excellent uh, site that will take four or five different websites and, and show you different pricing structures. Uh, where do you book for Rio? Uh, Mia, go online to the Travel Cafe and it will give you booking instructions or you can call the hotel directly and tell them you're with the Evolution Convention uh, June 20 to 23rd. Uh, let's see. To qualify for our own IATA, is it $5,000 we have been paid or $5,000 we have earned? Commissions earned. No, I understand. Um, no, it's $5,000 that you have been paid on a 1099. And I had somebody that was $48 short, and I went ahead and, and approved it to IATAN. Um, at the end of the year, if we get audited, that I could get in trouble because IATAN's pretty persnickety about the whole thing. But you need to book right at $5,000. You need to be paid $5,000 in a calendar year in order to qualify for your IATAN card. Now, I'll tell you a secret. You can, you can get a lot of the same discounts on the CLIA card that you get with the IATAN card with the exception of airline tickets. And the CLIA card, I think, is $130, $150. Yeah. Um, they do have it on sale from time to time, but that goes so fast, it's, it's kind of ridiculous even trying. But uh, if, you, if you purchase the CLIA card, you can get a lot of the hotel discounts, cruise discounts. But I, I will tell you, um, one of the things that I'm going to do, and I think Don Sutton is on this, uh, is on this, e uh, on this uh, Facebook Live. Um, you know, there is a tremendous amount of opportunities that are out there for discount cruises, free cruises, discount hotels. I think uh, Don and his wife, Kathy, had free park tickets for three days at Universal Orlando because it went through the Universal uh, website and took the Universal uh, training. I, Don and I are going to talk some more about – these guys really work it. Um, there are so many deals. I mean, the Admiral program from uh, Princess Cruises, you know, that's not easy. But you can take up to a free 14-day cruise on Princess once you complete the Admiral's program. So there's some stuff out there. In fact, Don, 
do me a favor. Uh, can you call me in the next couple of days and let's follow up on that conversation? Because I do want to have a section of the, uh, the email or the um, uh, newsletter that we send out. I, I want to put a section on that where uh, we can start referring people to places they can get I don't want to use this as a recruiting tool, guys. Don't go out there and tell everybody, hey, join Archer Travel. You can get all kinds of travel discounts and programs. That's kind of like our own internal dirty little secret. I don't want to recruit from that because one of the biggest things with a lot of the other network marketing companies in the past is they got in a lot of trouble with the attorney generals because people were selling the discounts on travel, not the fact that we are a home-based travel business, you know. Because you're a member of Archer Travel, because you're a member of the travel community, you have benefits and opportunities that are available to you. But these are geared for you to learn and to understand so that you can get out there and sell a lot of product. And the reason that, that we have such great opportunities is because we're, we're doing a tremendous amount of sales. And I don't really want to do anything that's going to negate that. But for those of you that are, that are new to the program, learning is always good. Learning will help you earn. And the more you earn, the more you're going to stay in, the more fun you're going to have, the more opportunities are going to be available for all of us. So we will start putting stuff out there, but I don't want to see this as a huge recruiting tool. You know, join Ar Archer Travel and Evolution Travel and get big, you know, discounts on travel. That will get us in trouble with the attorney generals. That will get us in trouble with the suppliers. So let's be professional about it. Um, it's the same thing. It's like don't go on a cruise ship and start passing out your business cards because if you do that, the cruise lines will come to us and tell us to knock it off or they'll disallow us from selling their cruise program. So you got to be professional about it. Um, but really, it, there are a great and tremendous advantages that are that are there and available to you. Um, can you do a package for flight and hotel for the convention? Yeah, but I think the hotel price is cheap enough that I don't think you're going to get a lot of discount. Uh, so I, I, I don't think it's going to be advantageous for you. Uh, what is the best time to buy? I'm assuming an airline ticket. Uh, midnight, 52 days in advance is what they <clears throat> is what they say the best time to buy airline tickets are. Let's see what else we got here. Da -da -da -da. Hang on a second. Clea is 115 bucks. I was wrong. I lied. Sorry about that. Um, good evening to my daughter, Shannon Archer Oakley in Spokane, Washington. How are my grandchildren? Please give them all hugs and kisses for me. And please tell your husband to call me regarding our golf adventure. Let's see. Who else we got? Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, you guys are on the training and the, the the freebie stuff now. I hey, that stuff's great. Let's see. Well, please put in the discount airline tickets for I-10 Cardinals. Uh, the newsletter. I called a dozen airlines and they're clueless. <laughs> I know airlines hate the discount stuff. Um. Yeah, Rocky Tom. Uh. It's AD 75, AD 50, and a lot of other stuff. It used to be Southwest had a pro. When we first started Evolution, Southwest had a program where you can fly anywhere in the in the system for $60 each way, and they've taken that out. But I do understand that there are some other stuff that's out there. And, yes, um, we will put that in. When we get the uh, discount travel section in the newsletter, I will make sure to address the discount airline tickets. Dwayne Macklin, travel buddy. Let's see. Is there any update on the Europe trip next year? No. Uh, I haven't done it yet. And I am trying to uh, – right now I'm a little distracted between Puerto Rico and Australia and then with the, with the past uh, trip that we just had. So I've, I've been a little distracted on that. I will get that together uh, and get some pricing out so that you'll have sufficient enough time. Uh, I'm going to talk to David. I am going to try and make that a 
fall, uh, October, November uh, package, I think the price is going to be much more attractive and it'll give people longer to save. Um, but I, I, that, thank you for that shove. That's a, that's a, that's a good reminder to me. I need to get on that. Uh, saw travel agent Academy, the other day, travel insurance, just for agents. It was super cheap. Yeah. Somebody brought that up to me too, where you could get a year's insurance for any trip that you took as a travel agent for like 130 or 140. Again, that was Don Sutton from the, that, uh, that shared that with me when we were having breakfast the other morning. Uh, Don, you got to, you got to call me. We got to get some information out to these folks. Uh, da -da. Okay, it's six forty, so I'll take a. Have the agents call me, Jen Jennifer, 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 Jill Langley, uh, says give her a call regarding discounts on hotels and airlines. Uh, don't bury the poor lady, but yeah, she is a she is a wealth of knowledge. Also, uh, while Peggy is out. Um, if you call Marie Liuzzi, uh, the cruise lady at the office, she will be more than helpful answering any questions regarding cruises, itineraries, ships, cruise lines, uh, etc. Uh, she deals mostly with uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, Princess, NCL, Holland America, Regent, uh, Celebrity. She doesn't do a lot of carnival, although she has in the past, uh, but Anything you have with, with regard to cruise groups, cruise questions, um, Marie is a tremendous help. All right. Let's see what else we got. A couple more here. Uh, yeah, Don, call me tomorrow. I am, I have a client conference. I'm leaving at 10.15 my time. So if you'll call me between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, that would be super spectacular. Um, uh, by the way, everybody, a shout out to Tony Ward. Uh, she got me to donate $10,000 with the travel prizes for the bingo program. And by all accounts, it was tremendously successful. So uh, we are waiting to get all of those uh, discount certificates uh, and the cruise out to the winner um, soon. So, um, Tony, I don't know if you sent me the uh, – the Excel spreadsheet or not. I think you did. Um, so we will get on that immediately. And one more comment, question, concern. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Everybody show love to uh, show some love out there to uh, Tony Ward. She did a heck of a job on the bingo program. Okay. Well, I, I don't know what my computer's doing, but I don't want to uh, I don't want to screw this up. Oh, here we go. You guys get so many people on here, my computer gets uh, a little slow. All right. Please bear with me a second. Michael Clark, great question. Can, can you give me clarification on Archer's policies regarding getting a car wrapped by sandals? Uh, I don't have a policy. Remember, let's clarify the relationship. Archer Travel Service, through Evolution Travel, sells an Archer Travel home-based travel business. You, as an independent home-based travel agent, are your own business owner. The only policy that I would state is that you cannot put Archer Travel, Sandals probably won't allow you to put Archer Travel on a wrapped car, but if you want to go out and drive a wrapped car with Sandals, you can negotiate that direct with Sandals, and that is both legal and uh, might be a great marketing tool for you. But you need to be careful, and you need to list your own home-based business uh, you cannot do it as Archer Travel. Um, now, this gets into some really fine points, but one of the things that you got to do is you also have to put an affiliation. You have to advertise as your own home-based business, 
but you also then have to state that you're an affiliate of Archer and you have to put the California seller travel number and the Florida seller travel number, but it has to be clear that the advertising is coming from you and Sandals, not from Archer, but that you're identifying yourself as an independent agent for Archer. Yeah, I know that that's kind of out in the weeds, but if you really, for any of you that want to get your car wrapped by a supplier, if you have that opportunity available, go for it and, you know, let me, uh, let me see it. Let me see the contract and I'll keep you out of trouble. Uh, you also want to check with your own personal insurance company. My insurance agent bans me from putting Archer Travel on any of our company cars because it ups our liability insurance tremendously. Because if I were to get in an accident driving an Archer Travel Service vehicle, they know that that's a commercial policy and the the lawsuits go up by a huge amount. And so there is an exclusion in my insurance, my automobile insurance contract that stipulates that none of my personal vehicles can have any advertising on it. So you may want to make sure and, and check that out. Um, so, you know, it's not something that we would stop you from doing, nor would I want to. I think it's a, it could be a great, it could be a great business opportunity but I want you to remember that with every opportunity can come and can have some liability. So please uh, just uh, be very, very careful with that and call me if you have any questions on it and I can do some more research and contact my insurance guys. Um, da -da -da -da. Fran, I hope you become a top earner too and anything I can do, give me a call. Uh, da -da. Okay, last one for sure. A yacht party for Punta Cana. Boy, I don't know any yacht vendors down there. Um, that one, that that one, you'll have to check with the office on that one. How do we handle booking trips trips for tax exempt organizations? We handle them just the same way we do everybody else. If they're trying to avoid the federal taxes, then they need to check with their own. Uh, they need to check with their own CPA. Uh, we cannot just simply take the taxes off without instructions and documentation based on what type of uh, organization they are with tax exemption. But if they're, you know, if they're a tax exempt organization and they've paid federal taxes. Uh, on their airline tickets, then it would be probably up to them. And I'm not a tax guy, but my understanding is they would need to file for a tax refund and uh, deduct that from their income tax or get that back from the federal government. That is not something that, that we can, uh, that I can really talk any more beyond what, what I've just said. Okay. That was a dry one. That wasn't much fun. Uh, give me a, Expedia tab sends group hotel bookings to hotel planner. Hotel planner reps are ridiculously slow. Reaching back out to us. Agents to assist with getting quotes. I'm working on a book for 110 hotel. You got, you got large groups with Expedia tap or with anybody else and you're not getting customer service. Send me an email. I'll send them to the rep and say, you guys are blowing it. You got 110 hotel rooms for three nights in New York city at 200 bucks a night. That's uh that's uh, 20, 40, that's 60, that's about $70,000. So um, if you're having a problem, then we need to get that, especially for Expedia Tap, we need to get that to Dave Evans and have him kick somebody in the beat, in the backside. All right, guys, um, I will be in town next week. Uh, we will have another call Monday night. I will be driving to Las Vegas Wednesday afternoon. So I will do, <clears throat> I'll do a, Probably I'll do a question and answer for somewhere between 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Uh, I'll be driving up to Vegas, so uh, I'll publish my uh, cell phone number. I know most of you guys already got it. So um, look for me on, uh, on Wednesday. I'll be driving my car back to Vegas. I'll work a couple of days up there. Got some new ideas, got some new promotions in mind for the next big uh, uh, promotion for Evolution for, for recruiting. Um, and, and that's all I'll tease you with. I'm actually working on it <clears throat> to submit to the Founders Council now. David has given me his preliminary approval, so 
Uh, kind of fun. We're going to shake it up a little bit and do some new and fun stuff. So uh, Don Sutphin, call me tomorrow. Um, Shannon, kiss the kids. And everybody, have a great week. Thank you for all you're doing. The numbers are spectacular. Travel sales are double this year over last year. Um, remember, everybody sell Carnival. If, if for every Carnival cabin that you sell this in the, in, uh, until the end of this month, you get thrown into a drawing for a free Carnival if we hit 500 cabins. So uh, we put that in the Travel Cafe last week. I'll put it in again tomorrow. But for every booking that you reserve and deposit on between now and the end of the month, if we get to 500 cabins, which, by the way, should be a piece of cake, I'm giving away a free one-week cruise for two people. So, um, And that's out of my pocket. So everybody have a great uh, week. Go sell Carnival. Go book the convention. And if you got any further questions, um, I'm in the office from uh, 9 in the morning till 5 o'clock at night and available by email all other times. So thanks again. Have a great evening. Have a great week. And we'll talk to you guys next week.